In the heart of the African savannah, there lived a young woman named Amara. Her life had been a tapestry of hardship and resilience, woven with threads from sorrow and dreams. Amara's father had abandoned their family when she was but a child, leaving her mother to care for Amara and her three siblings in a world that offered little mercy to a single parent in a small village. Amara's father had been the cornerstone of their small, tightly knit family, a beacon of strength and security in the humble village they called home. His departure was as sudden as it was devastating, leaving behind a void that echoed with questions and unspoken fears. He had left under the cloak of night, driven by lust and thirst for new love with a woman from another village. His absence transformed their home into a shadow of its former self, where laughter once echoed, silence now reigned, and where security once stood, vulnerability now lay bare. This abandonment etched a deep scar in Amara's heart, shaping her worldview and desires. She grew up witnessing her mother's struggle to mend fragments of their shattered family. Her silent tears in the dead of night, a testament to the betrayal she felt. For Amara, her father's departure was not just a physical absence, but a haunting <laughs> reminder of the fragility of human connections. It instilled in her a yearning for love that was steadfast, a partner who would be the antithesis of her father, someone whose love and loyalty were as unwavering as the sun that rose each morning over the savannah. This longing became the compass of her life, guiding her through the complexities of human relationships and fueling her dream of finding a love that could withstand the trials of life, a love as enduring as the ancient lands that cradled her existence. However, as she matured, Amara saw the flaws in the people around her. Her trust was once profoundly shaken when her closest friend, whom she had confided in about her deep fear of insects, betrayed her trust. This friend, swayed by envy and spite, spread Amara's secrets throughout the village, turning her vulnerabilities into subjects of public mockery. This betrayal cut deeper than any physical wound could, reinforcing Amara's belief in the rarity of true loyalty and the persuasive nature of deceit among those she once believed to be pure of heart. It was a harsh lesson that even those closest to her could betray her trust, amplifying her resolve to find a love that transcended the weakness of human nature. Despite the discouraging reality, she held on to her dream with a fierce determination, believing that somewhere, somehow, true love awaited her. It was on a day like any other. Amara ventured into the vast savanna, a task undertaken with reverence and necessity. Her mother, skilled in the ancient art of healing, had passed down the knowledge of herbs and their uses, a legacy Amara carried with pride. That day, her mission was to gather herbs for her sick child, a task imbued with urgency and care. The savanna, with its endless horizon and whispering grasses, was both a sanctuary and a source of life. It was here, amidst the dance of nature, that Amara's path would cross with a majestic lion, altering her course of life forever. Fear gripped her heart as the lion stood before her, its eyes piercing, a silent strength emanating from its presence. In a desperate bid for safety, Amara attempted to climb the nearest tree, but her efforts were in vain. The lion approached, its expression fierce, and Amara braced herself for the end. Yet. What came was not the cold embrace of death, but a gesture so tender, it shattered all her fears. The lion sat beside her, its demeanor shifting from fearsome to gentle. A wave of shock coursed through Amara when it licked her face. Against every instinct screaming within her, she reached out, her hand trembling as it stroked the lion's mane. To her astonishment, the lion responded with a contented purr its head lowering in a gesture of trust and affection. In that moment, the impossible unfolded. The lion spoke. His name was Ezio. The lion's words, though scary, touched her heart. His voice held a depth of emotion that resonated with Amara's soul. He explained that in her, he saw a unique spirit, a kindred heart, capable of embracing his fierce, unconditional love. 
Throughout his life, Ezio had wandered the earth, a solitary guardian of the savannah, yearning for a connection that transcended the superficial bonds formed by others of his kind. In Amara's eyes, he recognized not just a partner, but a soulmate, the only being on this earth who could withstand the intensity of his love and share it in kind. This love was not blind to flaws, but accepted them as a part of a profound bond, a love that sought not to possess, but to liberate and uplift. Overwhelmed but captivated, Amara agreed to leave her village and venture into the unknown with him. In the days that followed, Amara and the lion ventured deep into the heart of the savannah, embarking on a journey of mutual discovery. They roamed the expansive grasslands, where Ezio taught her the language of the wild, interpreting the calls of the distant creatures and the subtle signals of the earth. Together, they chased the wind under the vast African sky, Amara riding on Ezio's back as they soared like the breeze itself. At dusk, they found solace in the serene beauty of the savannah, watching the sun bleed colors into the horizon. These moments, shared in the harmony of their surroundings, wove a bond of understanding, trust, and love, a testament to their extraordinary union. Ezio showed her the wonders of his world, and in turn, Amara shared the depths of her soul. Finally, Ezio asked Amara to marry him. Her heart answered before her lips could form a word. Yes. His promise of a life filled with love and the possibility of a child a symbol of their unique bond, filled her with delightful hope. Yet, before they could begin their life together, Amara wished for her family and village to witness their union, to understand and accept the love that transcended the boundaries of the natural world. Ezio agreed, and the following day, they approached the village. The sight of the lion and struck fear into the hearts of the envious villagers. But Amara stood firm, a bridge between two worlds. She explained her love for Ezio and his for her, calming the storm of panic that had risen. Her mother, though initially bewildered, saw the light in her daughter's eyes, a light that had been absent for too long, and her heart swelled with happiness. The village eldest, moved by the sincerity of their love, agreed to bless their marriage. It was a ceremony that would be etched in the memory of the village for generations, a testament to the power of love and the breaking of barriers between man and nature. Amara and Ezio lived a life filled with love, adventure, and harmony beside the savannah, near the village that had once been her entire world. In time, Amara gave birth to a son, embodying the strength and majesty of her father and the resilience and purity of his mother. He grew to be a man of unparalleled strength and compassion, a bridge between two worlds, just like Ezio and Amara. Their story, passed down through the ages, became a beacon of hope, a reminder that love, in its purest form, knows no bounds. It taught that if one holds on to their dreams, with a heart unburdened by doubt and eyes fixed on the horizon, life can unfold in ways beyond the wildest imaginations. The moral of Amara and Ezio's tale is a simple yet profound truth. If you truly desire something and never cease to believe in it, even when it seems utterly beyond reach, life may surprise you in ways so wonderful you could never have envisioned. If you don't want to miss the most exciting African folktales, make sure to subscribe. Till next time.